Hello my good friends of YouTube. I hope you're all well. Another video for you this year guys. I know it's a bit late in the year, but uh, when was the last time I did a video? It was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it was one it with John Electro Carnage. Electro Carnage, or one word. Right guys, <clears throat> I've got a tabletop tether core that I've built. Xevious driver, um, flyback transformer, goes into a capacitor bank and spark gap with a 12 volt fan, which is, of course quenches the spark on the spark gap just there there's some rgb led lights there just to give that look of um high voltage on arcs you know arcs off so i'm going to get it right oh you just get that lovely color i just love that color doorknob capacitors 40 kb each guys and they all go out to the output here which you can plug in any primary coil for your flyback uh tesla coil got fly back on the bloody brain a little bit of um, a breakout point there just to give it out I mean I could try it off in a minute and see we'll see that but um, <clears throat> frequency is just about right um, because the top load um, here is quite high up um, the wire goes straight up and comes to here so sometimes I do get a breakout from here I could do with changing the probably taking a turn off there or something but I've got a bit of a breakout there so we'll, we'll just see what it's like I've got some bulbs there hung up for you to see the, the arcs coming from um, the bulbs because you get it from the filament going out, which you'll see because the ground comes round to here, which goes up to there and goes to the garage. 12 volts in for the fan, just there, look. You plug that in and out. And of course, 12 volts going into the ZVS, and this is the capacitors on the ZVS, which changes the frequency. Got a bit of a neon bulb there just to flicker on and off, which takes a bit of back spike. So let's get it on. And yes, I've changed my hair colour back to a brown because I had grey hair and I am not getting old. I feel too young at heart, guys. So if you've got grey hair coming, guys, get some grey hair shampoo or whatever it is I'm using and get your hair back to what it was. <laughs> Life short. Well, you say that, don't they, but do you believe in life after death? I do. <laughs> so in my next life, I'm going to come back as Mr. Tesla. <laughs> right, let's get this turned down. Let's get some freaking electro on. Some electric high voltage, yeah. Let's see what I'm going on. I mean, look at that light. That freaking light is gorgeous. I love, I love RGB LEDs. They're flipping awesome. I've got bloody loads of them piles of them i mean you can't see now but i've got so many flipping leds it's unreal so let's plug this in and see what happens oh that's gonna look awesome i've not even seen this yet yes check that out to do with the lights turn down a little bit more to be fair Smell the ozone already. I mean, that was awesome. Let's just turn the lights down a little bit more because that looks just freaking fantastic. Oh my god, I'm blind! Oh, look at that light. Look at the inside lock. Oh, see what I mean about that look? On camera, even on camera, it's exactly the same on camera. RGB LED lights cannot go wrong. So let's power it up again. Oh, that is sexy. You see that purple colour to the arc, to the uh, streamers. You see it? That's what I mean. Look. Very similar. Take a screenshot. Oh my goodness. That is mental, that flipping ozone. Ozone is not good for the lungs, but of course, don't, you know, don't 
give yourself too much of it a little bit's okay i mean it does it's antiseptic as well ozone is so if you run something like this in a in a room it will kill everything everything including you if you stay in the room you'll be like oh that smells so nice dial 999-911 yeah seriously it will kill you <clears throat> so be careful of ozone oh, i mean that just looks awesome awesome so another video for you guys i'm gonna try and get that beast done i know it's not quite as big as the one i did a couple of years ago do you remember with like 18 feet flipping streamers yes they were 18 feet <sighs> i'm gonna build another one of those at one point when i do get myself another secondary pipe which is very hard to get because i got that from um where did i get it from i got it from some somebody who was doing roadworks and it was corrugated but i put sticky back plastic on it and then i really put loads of it on there and then wound it and i wound that by hand no motors or nothing by hand sat there with it on the floor and wound it and it was pretty good i did enjoy it so i do need to build another one of those definitely but it's hard to find anybody doing in roadworks using that size pipe so if anybody can get me a cutting of it in the uk um probably about four feet high um probably about trying to think how wide i'd like it. it's probably one and a half feet two feet if possible wide yeah please so there you go that's what i've done in it sweet so look after yourselves guys be safe whatever you're doing please subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video if you don't like the video thumbs down and be safe whatever you're doing, okay? And I'll hopefully see you guys again very soon. See ya.